on here. We got those special painted deals. We got a new Custom bottom bracket painted. in here. This is all looking good. We got new cables. New cables We're good to go. Everything. We're ready to set, ready rock and roll. We got to do the wheels. wheels. Right. The wheels are out back. Yep. They right? need to be repacked, gone through. And now, I was talking oh, wait. earlier. Weren't, weren't we going to. Hold on. Shh. Weren't we going to. Oh, yeah, that's a product review. We do have a product review. That's a good idea. I forgot about that. What? What? You just saw that out of the corner of your eye? I did, and I was like, oh, uh-oh. Right. So now, oh, back and then we got, this, we got this thing, too. So that thing's done for now. We got this thing here. Now, we had a binge watcher. This is where I was going before. And they were talking about putting in a three-piece crank on a Pacific. His name was Ozzy. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember where Ozzy was from. I told them to watch this week's live show. Took me 40 minutes to get to Yazi, but yeah, yeah. Um, it has an American one piece crank in this thing. Now, this thing has been torn up. We pulled it out of the bone yard. We happen to have something. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to drag this thing, I think, out back. We're going to go out. Uh, I think we back. should go outside. All right. Uh, we're going to take this crank out of here. And we're going to. The question at hand is what spindle length do we have to get? You got parts over here. We're gonna go back out there. All right. And I got a ton of tools here too. You too. got tools where? Here. <laughs> to do out to do this job? Well kinda. I kinda do. But I think it's I just probably don't wanna, best. I, you know, this is gonna be kinda I messy. I see it coming. I really I, and I wanna try to protect our nice new floor. I understand. Alright. I'm I'll meet you out back. Alright. What, what? Oh, yeah? What's he need? We don't know. He won't say. He just keeps saying, I need help. I need help. I need help. So then tell I us. And we all need help. Yeah. Well, I need help. What am I going to need? What am I going to need? I'm going to need a whole lot. Hopefully these guys aren't going to make some noise over here. But we don't have an outside mic yet. So we're in the shape. I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, time out first. What I do? Oh, the tech help form. All right, this good man, good man. Worthy of a time stamp. I'm always on there, so. Um, but we're not quite, not quite there yet to time stamp this. Yeah. Let me put my fire back on my hook. It's always helpful to have some fire in my pockets. I'm gonna need this. I don't know what happened to the other one. Here's a beat up one. Beat up bottom bracket. You got the digital calipers? Uh, you got digital ones? They're inside, I, I guess. Who? I, I want to say Joe Brown did his. <laughs> no, because everybody was saying it before you said it, and then the only one that I can see is. You know? <laughs> Just pick anybody from the beginning. Joe Brown. Of the... Joe Brown. Joe unless Brown. Joe, unless you want. Why is this razor blade out there dangerous like that? I have no idea. That's what I want to know. Um, all right. We need digital calipers. You got the regular calipers, so that way you can kind of get an idea of what the heck is going on. We have that. We have that. Let me get everything together, Did all right? Just take a break for a half a second, guys. Caliber. Um, all right, digital calipers. We're going to pop that there. We're going to kind of interpolate what's going on with that. Let me see if we some sort of crank somewhere that's going to work for this somehow. The question at hand is, what is the spindle length going to be? That's your caliper. You got a caliper? I got a digital one. Um, all right, cool. All right. Um, do we have any kind of a crank, a three-piece crank, um, a double or a triple, anywhere? Mm. We got used. We yeah. got used, right? We, we got used. We got used. We got this used dirty mess. I'm trying to think if we had... Oh, wait. You got anything? No. We got the dad. What's up over here? Good idea. You got scooter parts and scooter wheels. I shouldn't do this. Oh, that'll work. That'll work good enough. Whoops. 
that looks like. All right. So, the situation at hand. Let's get this up and we'll try to unbutton that a little bit. Not too crazy though. Um, but yeah, get the chain going. Okay, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. That's fucking gonna clip this thing. trying to cheat. <laughs> I don't know how good uh, this I don't know how that's gonna work either, but we'll try. There you go. Wait, it's up nice and high for the cow camera. Yeah. All right. American one piece crank. I wanna put a three piece crank on, which would look like this. What are the parts of a three-piece crank? I guess it's gonna have to pop off of one of the uh, pedals, which it's gonna be on the left side. So, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna set up over here for a second. <laughs> A three-piece crank is just that, three pieces. Actually, it's more than three pieces, but it's three main pieces. Which would consist of a crank arm and the crank itself. There is the three pieces. You with me, Tony Joe? There we go. Three pieces. One, two, three. Three piece crank. Boom. This we want to replace with that. And here's where things start to get crazy. Let me just. You're going back to I'm right going to. Yeah, yeah, I was. I we can't get in there. Uh, do, we have the, uh, do we have the no. American one piece? Crank that special tool? tool? I don't. I think we do. We're on the backboard maybe? If it's not there, it might be on the board inside. Uh, I know we got one in stock. We sold one a while ago. We did? Yeah, so I don't know if we sold the one that we, we had. Ow. Hold on. Let me go, go, go check. One piece crank you don't necessarily you don't have to have it just get it off however you got it off um which we're going to show you in a half a second but yeah it ain't here i know we got one though F me he went to go get it okay there we go found it yeah i knew we had one in there but i didn't know if we had one yeah, what? Doesn't matter. All right. So, um, one piece opposed to three piece. Here's a one piece. Now, this gentleman, Ozzy, was talking to another YouTuber who will, we will rename, name, be named. We'll, we will not. What's the uh, word? Uh, it's... We will leave him alone. Anonymous. Beat on him. But he said that his bicycle was a piece of junk. Oh, me? Okay. The bikes, this is a Pacific. This is purchased at Walmart. It has the Schwinn brand on it. Blah, 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 blah. It is an inexpensive bicycle. Ozzy has one and would like to make it better. And that's what we specialize in. And this is exactly what we're going to do. Now, if you had the American, this is a HCW 
BMW 18. You do not have to absolutely have to have it, okay? But it kind of fits, it's perfectly fit to be able to fit into here, to be able to twist that out. You can see that. If it was all gunked up, this was actually coming right out really no problem at all. In fact, this, this is, it's a nice tool to have, but you don't have to have it. It's a specialty tool. You can probably tool. do it even better with a, a, a flat-headed screwdriver here. Here you go. But if, you, if you're one of those mechanics that you have to have, have one of everything, HCW18, it's a fairly new tool by Park Tool, as a matter of fact. It hasn't been around for a lot of years. All right. Bada bing. What do we got? We got rusty and that dries a bone bearings inside uh, of this thing. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're not perfect. And we got a American one-piece crank. It is, there we go, we're getting there. These oh, things are always up. Bearing. This way a little, you got kind of jiggling move. Yeah, you it's got, got a chain he's dealing with over here. Sorry he's about my back, hold on. Oh, hang on, we just, this bearing was jiggling everything stuck. in one shot. Oh yeah, we're almost home, I think. Oh yeah, well yeah, I could tell. Over there, yeah baby, out she comes. That bearing was stuck. Well, like between the chain, you should have took the chain off the other side, but that's all right, okay. give me that thing. All right. American one-piece crank, okay? And here is that. And then you got some nuts that came on to that. Where'd that other thing go? Now, I don't know the big one went. We have bearing cups. Here you go, here, you got this. Well, I was, I, I tried to find the- uh, A steel hammer? Yeah. But oh, the, you know what? Fell down. I saw it. I had it the other day. Oh, oh! And I was jocking. I wouldn't have saw it on the floor. I knew it. I saw it. I saw it fall <clears throat> down the other day. We've been kind of a juggling a whole bunch of different projects at the same time. Bearing cups inside of there. Other side. Uh, yeah, I can do it like this. Ow. Sorry. Go ahead. Catch, baby. Mm. Woo! All right. Ding, 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 ding. Now you're going to get the real, the whole, you're going to get the whole enchilada, a little extra sand in the bearing. It's okay. <laughs> it's good for it. Boom, to boom, to boom. No. Boom. <laughs> the puzzle piece. Boom. Yeah, I feel like I'm on Survivor. Hurry up. You watch that show? Uh, I did a couple years back, but not. I like that show. Where's those nuts? Right the washers. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it. Dee -dee -dee. Yeah, yeah. Dee -dee -dee -dee. yeah. So there you have American One Piece crank with the nuts, the cups, three piece crank. He wants to take this out and put that in. Okay, how do you do it? The first thing you do is you're gonna have to have an adapter. Adapter, can we open that up without screwing uh, it up? It's got a, a ribbon on it. Yeah, uh, maybe if I. We don't have any of those anywhere else. I thought maybe. I'm not opened. Oh, uh, you could do that for me. I gotta find a rag here. This actually might be going to Ozzy, actually, so that way Ozzy knows. Now, Ozzy told me that he didn't have a set of calipers. Mm, now, no. you can do it two different ways. You can get a set of calipers like this from the bike man, 10 bucks, worthwhile to have them. It's just, you're gonna be able to get the general idea of what's what and where it is. This thing here is a digital caliper where it's gonna tell you exact a rule what it is. Um, sometimes that's not always good because it's just too exact a rule and people don't know how to round up or round down accordingly or what will work. So sometimes the digital might not be all there. You all, know what I mean? Yeah. So even the, just the cheap Vernier job that's going to tell you what's going on, no extra charge for the leaf. And we're going to see what this shell size is, which is the width of the shell itself it's about 67 68 okay 
millimeters. I'm looking at the bottom, the zero. Now you could get really, just, I, I, I just need a ballpark. That's cool, 68. Now a mountain bike or some other bicycles are a 70. Uh, 73. Yep. And the bottom bracket accordingly can be just that. Do you have the box? Oh yeah, there it is. Can be a 73 shell size. Or a 68 shell size. This happens to be a 68, right? Oh, yep. It is a 68 by 127. This is going to thread in on one side. This is going in on the other side. This holds it in. They're talking about the shell width right here is 68. Now, is it 67 or 66 or, you know, some guys, depends upon how you're reading it. Some guys like to try to use a tape measure. Now, how would that work? That's what this Ozzy was telling me. Do you have the, uh, a, a, a uh, the, the smoke calculator one and whatnot? Oh, this has got millimeters on it. I'm all right. Oh, okay. This has millimeters on it. And 68 would be, you know, that is kind of where we look for a venture with 60, with, 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 uh, you can be able to see that. Not that great. Move this a little right away. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can go inside of here and look at that. And if you look at that, it, pretty much I don't know how tight can you make it Tony I don't know uh, but you know I'm measuring out at 68 I can really you know talk to millimeters here but there it is six centimeters eight millimeters 68 millimeters now we put these adapters in here like this okay these are going to go into here like that and the other side's going in like that. Now, before you go drawing these things up, they got screws that go through there. Here and here. Now, the screws are not for installation. They're just there to hold it together. I've had, I've had now people you're gonna ask wanna that. Now, you're going to want to grease them. You're going to want to grease the, the edges, but that's where this is going to go into here like that. You with me, guys? And now we're going to have a threaded place for our bottom bracket to go into. Um, no, it probably would go like that, right? I believe so. The reason being that these are that the heads of those bolts, you're going to want to be able to get to those not on the chain side, right? Bada boom, bada boom. So then that would thread into there. And then this is going to thread into this side. And everything is hunky dory. You getting me? Now the question at hand is how long of a spindle do you use? How do we figure that out? Kind of guess and test. These, bottom brackets come in a One, bunch of different sizes. I can name a couple of them. 103, I think, is the small, smallest. Correct. And the then the shortest. And then it's 103, 107. Uh, it goes all the way up to a 120. It's 127, I think, is the, the biggest one that we have right now. Which is what I got in my hand here. Yes. Um, now, is that going to be the right one? I don't know. It depends on... It's kind on of a guess and test. Your frame. Now, you got a lot going on here, and what's going on, and what... Now, this was a single speed in the front of this. Flip that thing around again. Why is this so critical to get it right? Well, it's going to help you in a lot of ways. Now here comes the caliper, here comes the... You might be ordering more than one bottom rack. 
Now, I've never really, because I always have the, the liberty of having multiple bottom brackets in house, so I never had to really worry about it too awful much. <laughs> you know? About ordering the right one. Uh, yeah, it's one of the. the right, uh, we always had the right one in stock, you know? It's one I'm of the. Pop this, I, I just want to pop this, this cup back in here, okay, for a second. Alright. Uh, Do whatever you I don't worry. Go ahead. Nice. Slam it in there. I was trying to wind up, mother. <laughs> Now, here to here. Now, Boom. hold that in. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> you had the bearing in. I had the bearing in what? Backwards. I did? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, it is. There you go. That's better. Well, yeah, it does. For an All accurate right. measurement. Now, accurate measurement. Now, one of the things I was trying to explain is maybe taking the center of this tube here and the center of where your old one is, because again, he was replacing a triple with a triple. And here's where this, this, this guy might come into play here a little bit. Like 40 millimeters. Mm. See, I'm trying to figure how can we, it, depending upon the bicycle, it depends upon so much, what is this, and what kind of crank are we going to deal with? See, that seems too light to me. I'm just thinking out loud. If you were... What if he measures to... What if while it's in, he measures... No, because that... No, because that's too freaking short. Hmm. It's always, we have a whole series on this whole shooting match as well. Um, on installing a American, a converting. And I get this question pretty regularly and I keep trying to figure out a good way to tell people. What if I took this and you take this, right? Now you see how much that's far, how far that's gonna, yeah. see what I'm dealing with on that? Mm -hmm. How much is that, about 10 millimeters? What would that, now I'm just throwing it out there. Right. Hold an A and B. That ain't gonna work either. What size bottom bracket? Go go from the smallest and work your way. One hundred three is definitely not going to be the option because that's what you'd be using for a single speed. Right. If you were doing like a road bike. So now you gotta you gotta have a triple and you gotta have enough clearance for the actual crank to be able, but you want it close enough in so that you're going to be able to. That your chain line is not going to be too far out. Hmm. Is there a way to measure it like that? You know, like, like you, were, yeah. you found out your crank and then you wanted to go. I don't know. This is a tricky one. The, this is a. Uh, Personally, myself, there's a whole bunch of different flavors and sizes. I would order, I wouldn't. If you had the. What if you just took the old. When that was all pulled, still assembled, it doesn't much. Because of its, it's going to depend upon which crank, what this, and again, you're dealing with an inexpensive bike, so they're all going to be a little bit different, but are they going to be different to the tune of three or four millimeters? Can we just come out with, okay, it's a single sprocket on the front, you should have a bup, bup, bup. I don't know. Hmm. 
What about now? There we, we had two different flavors of this, didn't we? Did we have or not? There no. was always a true. There's always one. Always true beta. That's what we sell. Mm, yep. All right. I think we're going to leave that open ended for a little bit for Ozzy. I would probably order two for a single speed. He's actually going from a triple to a triple. Okay. But he wants it. He wants it. You know, three piece supposed to get. He wants to get rid of the there are tremendous weight savings in doing. This. Oh no! Yes. Um. You go from steel to. Oh, 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 could that be? Here comes him. Here, here he you know. No, I'm not sure who it is. It might be it him. Is. It might be. Oh, Ozzie. you got the bike, man. Nothing. Nah. All right. That would have been. That would have been cool if he called. Um. I really don't want to put this in there and destroy that thing and do this and do that, but I really want to come down to the bottom line and what the heck is going to work on this. So this is our another conundrum that we have. <sighs> They're just piling up now. Put it back in the junk car. Oh, this bike? Yeah. 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 Well, it's, well that, that's we're an just option trying now. to figure out what we're going to how you because <laughs> this this could be a pretty popular kit. It's good. We assembled it as a kit. You get a true native adapter with a, a cartridge and, and a, a crank. crank. All one complete. One deal. complete price. This is what I want that. to try to work on, and okay. this is what we're you know because we get this all the time. This thing don't work. No, it's gonna work. No, fine, no, but it's we gonna to work. Figure out what but the length of the bottom the guy, bracket spindle is. The guy's right got, got like an inexpensive bike, and he's trying to go from a triple yeah, right. to a triple. Yeah, right. So, but it's. Uh, one piece. He's got a single tool. He wants to go to a trip. Yeah, but he's got a one piece American, which is kind of hard to say you need a 123 bottom. No, nobody knows. And I don't think there's, I don't think there's a true way to figure it out. trying to think if there's a way that you could like all right now i got two extra ones just to make sure that we get get where we're getting from all right move over fred i need to open that one let's go to the phones Oh, this one actually, this is from something else. Yeah, it's uh, from someone else's bike. What is this one? This is a 118. Yeah. And this one here is a 122. Oh, he's on the phone oh, there right he is. Now. All right. See that? Uh, Ozzy? Uh, You're on, baby. So now, Tony, get, Tony Joe, when you come back, yeah, I want you to give me a nice tight right there, okay? okay. So that way I can see what's going on. But isn't that how the uh, pictures for the uh, Ozzy? What's going on? Let me how to listing. Look. How you doing? Good. So you see where we're going? You see where we're going here, right? Following you from Minnesota. Yeah, but you're following. You're 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 following where we're coming from on the live show right now, right? Yeah, I'm following you. You want me to give you a measurement like you told me yesterday from the center post to the second second tooth? Okay. But, you know, the second sprocket on my on my crank? Yeah, let's hear that measurement. Turn down your turn down your uh, <laughs> turn down your uh, computer volume too while you're at it. Get rid of that. I don't like See it. that? This is what I was trying. I was hoping he was going to be on because I wanted it. Yeah. This is what we're all trying to do. Um, I'm going to just talk to you. got Ozzy, right? Okay. I got him. He's safe in my hands. The Bike Man for You is trying to bring the local bicycle shop to the World Wide Web throughout the world. Now, this guy's in Minnesota. I kind of told him to tune in, blah, 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 blah. I was hoping we were going to get somewhere with that, and we did. And now he's measuring out. Very low. I'm on there. Everything's good. Yeah, give me that right. measurement. All right. Hang on. I got to go All right. So we'll now wait. he's no going to give us the measurement. I'll bring, I'll bring you guys with me, so. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Just turn down your mic. Don't don't look at your computer. So now he's going to give us like what we were talking about. So I can go outside and give you guys a, you guys a measurement. 
All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So what he's going to do is he's going to take that measurement from the center of that to that. That's where he's going. Now, what's that going to do for us? Now, let's just compare his measurement to what ours is going to be. That works. I like that. Let's see if that actually, because now I asked him, he's got a triple. One, two, three. Uh, this is a single. Uh, I'm kind of interpolating that the single is going to be where a middle would be. Would That would be a good idea. Correct. Would because, you buy with that? Because your a chain line would be straight. Right. Right. Okay. I'd like, yeah, I got that. So now, what do we have on ours, you ask? Now, he was going to use a tape measure because he doesn't have a... Should make a Harbor Freight run. <laughs> I'm two looking at like and a quarter. two and a quarter inches. So now he's yeah. way out here. Oh, wait a minute. Let me give you another one. <laughs> it's uh, one and three quarter inch. From the, from the second sprocket to the center of my seat post. Which is about what we got. Uh, no, we're at like one and a half. So he's like in about out in here. Okay. Now, all right, Ozzy, I'm with you there. Cool. So he's got about he's got about 10, 10, 10 millimeters longer than ours is. Yeah. Okay. So, what would I do with that? Cut it, cut it in half, five and five, right? Right. Okay. Meaning five on each side. Now, we've got a, what have we got over here again? We got a one, we got a 118, we got a 122, and a 127. So we're going 18, four millimeters into four to five-ish millimeters, right? Right. And you can see the differences on each one of those. With Ozzy's situation, is there anything between a 122 and a 127? I don't know. Mm, maybe. I can't remember. But we but we mainly stocked the uh, these guys. Yeah. We don't know that there might be a one twenty three somewhere. Some company makes it. I'd be going there. If I was a betting man, I'd be going at one twenty two. I'm trying to think, do we have one of these that we can use? I thought we had one put together with some sort of a prop thing or something. That's what I thought. Hold Somewhere. Because we've done this a trillion times. You still there, Ozzy? <laughs> Ozzy's not there. Ozzy left us. Hanging up from Ozzy. We had Ozzy on the phone, though. That was good. We're working out. We're working out. I had some, you know what I had is I had some, I had a box of parts. Just different crank parts and stuff like that that might have been in this office when we cleaned it out, but it doesn't. It's not here. Bottom bracket. It had some bottom brackets and all of the above. Probably Ozzy again. Is that Ozzy again? Hello, Mike and Kate. Mike with you. Uh, what's happening? All right. So we're debating on this whole thing, Ozzy, and we're like, well, it's either a 122 or a 127, and what we would do would be a guess and test. Is uh, we're not we're not we're not positive of either to tell you the truth. Um, and again, I don't think that there's any right way that we can figure this out accordingly. That's that's this is one of the things that this is one of the conundrums that we've been having for a long time. What I would do is I would get both of them and then ship one back, return one. You know what I mean? Obviously, keep it all dry, dry assemble everything, order more than one. We've talked about it in the past. Uh, uh, other guys, and then they ship it back the one that doesn't quite work right, the, or the one that isn't isn't the right one. You would be able to test both. You want it to be as close as you possibly can, but not hit on the frame. That way, your chain line stays nice and straight. Oh, I don't know. We we're, we're gonna have to work that out. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, you're email compatible, right? You can email us. Okay, cool. So just e email us email us again that we talked here during the live show. We're going to put the whole shooting match together. You're looking to do a triple, and how many teeth are on your old, old crank that we're going to need to do? The big, 
the mid, mid, middle one, you got to take it off and count up the teeth. That way we can get somewhere close on the teeth that you have. And then we're going to hook you up with a, uh, a, a whole kit. Yes. Yep. Um, All right. So that's what we're going to need from you. Email us, email us all of that information and uh, the amount of teeth and, and that we talked earlier, that we talked on the live show. And uh, we're going to get you, we're going to get you a kit together and we'll figure it out. I want all of the teeth count. The big one, the middle one, and the small one. All teeth count. All three of them. And then we'll go from there. And we'll get a three-piece crank inside of that thing and we'll see how she works. Cool. All right, Ozzy, you're on. If I, and put your, phone number, put your phone number in there, too, as well, and then we'll give you a shout. All right. See ya. All right, again, I'm not sure, but again, if you just two of those, ships us one back. That's the way to go. Still trying to figure that. I've been thinking about that all day. All right, so that concludes that one.